Today we're going to look at our page in our booklet. Um, this is our, our booklet for Mary. Let's see where to go. There, there we go. This is the one you're looking for, okay? So in this booklet, we're going to be looking at the lesson for the visitation. Okay, and, and in the video that I shared, it showed it very sweetly how um, Mary went to visit her cousin, Elizabeth, and Elizabeth um, will be the mother of John the Baptist, and how she felt the baby kick in her womb and because Mary was so blessed. And that's part of where our, our, our um, prayer comes from, where she said to Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. So that's the beginning of our Hail Mary prayer. Okay. So, oh, and I forgot to show you, I was going to share with you how I colored um, my Annunciation page right there. Okay. And so that's that stained glass window there. So I'm going to go to this one and um, I'm going to color this one now. And I think I'm going to do her cousin Elizabeth in maybe kind of a reddish colored dress. Okay. Yeah, so um, they both had very, they both had very important sons. If you, we're going to learn about it later, but you might already know this, that John the Baptist actually baptized Jesus because he was going around baptizing people when he grew up. And um, when Jesus came to him and said, um, John, I need you to baptize me, John was so surprised. He said, but, but it, it's you that um, should baptize us. But Jesus said, no, my, my father in heaven has said that I, sh I need to be baptized by you. And so then he did. So John was able to baptize Jesus. Okay, so that's a, a pretty cool thing that his cousin got to do for him. Okay, so I'm, you notice that I'm coloring with crayon. So you can choose to either color with crayon or marker. And I'm gonna give, so Elizabeth, had a miracle birth too. She was quite old when she had this child, and that was um, in one of the stories too. So, um, and they both, Elizabeth is also a saint, so I'm gonna, you'll see how she has her halo here. Okay, so I'm gonna color that. And then the same for Mary, I'm gonna color Mary's halo. Okay, so at the bottom here, it says the visitation. Okay. Then I'm gonna color Mary's dress here and then remember this is also again a stained glass window so um, they usually use a lot of um, good colors in stained glass windows um, so that you can see the reflection of that on the floor and it was um, a lot of the churches especially if you go to Europe but also churches here um, they do stained glass windows and it was to help the people to tell the stories so the stained glass windows would have depict things like this. So, so when you go in and into the church and, and look at the windows, you would know what stories. This either the story of creation or the story of the nativity of Jesus' birth, or like this one, the story of Mary visiting her cousin. So they were um, part of um, the design of the church so that you could um, know you could always remember the stories when you went in because uh, back a long, long time ago, and this is something that you should be really appreciated to, for. So in the Middle Ages, when they had churches a long, long time ago, not everybody could read. So they would go to the churches and the people who were the priests who knew how to read, they could read them the stories and the people would listen. So um, learning how to read is a really, really good thing. And people didn't always know how to read. They, they didn't have access to books. They didn't have access to people to teach them how to read. So that's something that we do now all the time that we just think that's normal, but it wasn't, it wasn't always normal. And especially not in the middle ages because something had to be invented called the printing press, which was very important because all books had to be handwritten before that and hand copied. So imagine that, okay? 
All right, so I'm gonna finish coloring this later and I'll share this with you, how I finish this the next time that we do this lesson because I want us to also have some time, I want some time on this video to show you the handwriting um, lesson that you're gonna be doing next. And our next handwriting lesson, in our um, next lesson in our handwriting book is actually our turtle, okay? So we did the letter T on Thursday, so I'm gonna open up this. And um, I can't wait till we get back to our science lessons and we focus a little bit more on animals again. And we haven't done that for a while because we've been doing a lot of social studies, but learning about holidays around the world is a lot of fun too. So um, you can color your turtle any color you want. Um, browns or greens or oranges or rainbow um, and you can use markers or crayons okay so I think I'm gonna start coloring I'm gonna use some brown in here okay I like the way they design this turtle here with like the curly cues to show the the knees you know of that um, so the place I know around here where you can see turtles is Wilderness Park um, I know that they have some in the water there. So, and, and turtles are one of, you know, just so you know, in the winter, if it gets cold, they're going to hibernate down in the mud at the bottom of the pond. So as we head closer and closer to winter, if you do get a chance to go up to Wilderness Park, um, you might not be able to see them. It, it's it, In the summer, though, you can see them. I know that because I've seen them up there. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to finish coloring my turtle, and you can do the same. Um, and then I'm going to give myself an exit ticket when I'm done, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to color the rest of it green, I think. Okay? All right. So I'll finish coloring, put this away, and then I'll show you tomorrow how I finish coloring my turtle. And um, I'll also show you how I finish coloring my, my visitation page. All right, I will um, see you the tomorrow again for your next for your religion lesson then.